Welcome back to Mrs. Riley's Maths videos. Today we are looking at some applied arithmetic and financial maths and in particular we're looking at VAT or value added tax, profit and loss, percentage profit, percentage loss, markup and percentage markup and profit margin and percentage margin. Now I would expect that you would find VAT, profit and loss to be terms that you'll understand and they're things that you come across probably either in business class or out when you're shopping um, you'll have seen maybe terms like VAT or VAT or profit and loss and you could discuss those at home with your families if you want to know a little bit more about them. Percentage profit again I would expect you to understand what's going on with that uh, the concept of it anyway. Markup and margin are, are slightly different and can cause a little bit more trouble so we'll spend a little bit of time on those as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through what's going on with VAT to start with and then go on to profit and loss. So let's go over here. So here's a television in Harvey Norman or Paris City or something and you're told that the price of the television is 600 euro plus VAT, VAT, value added tax. So basically what VAT is, VAT is money that goes to the tax man. Okay, it goes to and the tax man gives it to the government and the government uses that money for different services okay in society so tax that goes to the government might be used for hospitals or it might be used for education might be used for roads or providing support for people who are starting businesses all those kinds of things so that is value added tax and it's part of the money that you pay for something it goes to the government okay um value added tax value added so basically it depends on how much the original item is how much tax the government gets so it doesn't just get five euro on every bicycle sold or it doesn't just get 10 euro on every tv sold it's a percentage of the cost price okay it's a percentage of the price of whatever it is that the government get so here's an example here's a television for sale and we're told now i don't actually think we're often told the price without VAT. Um, the reason we have this plus VAT idea is because if you have a business, maybe someone in your family has a business and what they do is they um, can can do accounting things with VAT. So they can, I think they can claim back VAT from some things if they buy them or whatever anyway. So sometimes prices are included with VAT, which is most of the time when you're out shopping in a the supermarket or in a clothes shop or a bookshop or anything like that the VAT is usually included occasionally um, for bigger price items like a TV or a car or if you're getting a service from a say a painter the VAT's not included and it says the price plus VAT anyway this TV is 600 euros plus VAT and we're told the VAT rate is 23% you'll always be told this so you'll be told the VAT rate unless you're trying to calculate the VAT rate. Okay, so you'll be told the VAT rate. So in this case, the VAT rate is 23%. So the cost price of the TV is 600 euro. Okay, so the price of the TV is 600 euro to you. Let's just put price actually, because cost price is something we'll come back to. The price of the TV is 600 euro plus 23% of 600 euro. So you have to pay 600 euro, but then you've got to pay another 23% of 600 euro. Now there's two ways of doing this. I'm sure there's lots of ways, but two particular ways we're looking at now. 